Hi, I'm Roland. As I mentioned at my last video, I will make a video about the tire wearing. It is a little bit uh, complicated this video, but with some explanation, I think it will be fine. So let's start. So um, this video is divided in three parts. Normal differential, four wheel drive, two wheel drive and torque locker, four wheel drive. The values here, RPM values, have to be uh, divided by 5 because I put it 5 sensor to have instantly um, uh, RPM indication. So now uh, let's talk a, a little bit about uh, normal differential. Normal differential, here those, the sum of those uh, two values will uh, be almost the same. There is some difference, uh, but or changing, it just uh, indication error. So uh, because the drive line, both wheels are linked to the drive line. The two wheel drive is uh, indicating that's our reference point, the numbers, um, because um, the wheels can turn freely. And uh, torque locker, we will see that uh, one wheel is uh, locked to the drive line and the other one, the other wheel is freely to turn. So now let's go on with the video. So as we go in a turn, you see the value will change. Obviously the outside wheel uh, likes to go faster and the inside wheel uh, slower. You see it in all uh, three videos. And I stopped the video for five times. So uh, to make the calculation. Now, those are our, our reference number. And you see here, the normal differential is dividing perfectly on both wheels and they start right away to break down of uh, six and uh, in total 12 and you see here the torque locker the outside wheel turn freely and the inside wheel likes to uh, go faster by 10 so that mean like a climber on, on a rock wall it's pulling, it's helping the back wheels to go further on and you can feel it also on uh, the steering wheel it likes to go into the turn now we uh, leave it go further on we will see that the sum here remains always the same. Now I get the next stop. See, right now they are not evenly uh, divided, but um, the sum of it is 20. They are 20, um, it's divided by 5, 4 uh, RPM, too slow for the back wheels. And uh, that's our reference. Um, the wheel should be that fast. And you see here, it's zero difference because uh, the outside wheel can go as, as it likes. And the inside wheel, now you have the, the pulling into the turn a little bit less. And this is, it's a big advantage of the torque locker. So um, the back wheel will not uh, slip. Now we proceed with the video. So it's always increasing the outside and also the inside. The next stop will be soon. And you see at the door clocker that value here will stay almost the same. It's linked, fixed to the uh, drive line. Now, since the uh, steering angle is going bigger, 
Also the speed requested for the front wheels are bigger and you see here it will be a lot breakdown in, uh, in the turn in a normal differential. Those are our reference and you see here now it's less. So the torque locker is getting as you uh, steer more closer to, and closer to have a, a, a total harmony between the back wheels and the front wheels. So let's go on with the video. Now. Now it's getting very close those two values. So that that mean that soon it will change from the inside on the torque locker here. Soon will change from uh, from the inside wheel the drive line to the outside wheel. So it will break down the outside wheel and the inside wheel will turn freely. And you see here we are almost in harmony with the front wheel inside and the back wheels. And here is in all, um, every time is increasing um, the breakdown of the back wheels. The front wheel will break down the back wheels. And soon you will see the flip over of the torque locker. Now it's getting very close. You see, now it was changing over the drive line. So here again, bigger the value. And here we have a, a big braking. So that's uh, the disadvantage of, of the torque locker. But, but now is in braking mode the torque locker and um, obviously see, you see here this value is right now much less than that one it's uh, because that wheel is breaking down the turning speed so if you took a, a piece of paper and uh, you were uh, writing down those values every time we stop. Right now we will make a, a total calculation of or making the sum of all the stops we made. You can make it um, every three, four seconds, whatever you like, and you can make your calculation by your own. Now here we have the sum of the total of the normal differential, what's out it's breaking down in a turn the um, back wheels and here we have uh, initially it's it's pulling and then it's breaking and uh, so we I put together the sum here and the sum of here it, it gives us 106 divided by 5 what I said before and we have to divide it by 5 to get the uh, exact RPM, so 21 RPM less uh, tire wearing we have on the torque locker than on a differential. That's in uh, upward or even terrain. Obviously in downhill mode it will be uh, this value and this value, but uh, as we see it here there is a difference and uh, if you go slower or faster it will be always less the torque locker uh, on tire have less tire wearing than the normal differential. The sum we can say that the torque locker is uh, wearing less tire than a normal differential. So that is my last video about the difference between uh, normal differential and torque locker. I wish all the best to everybody and uh, bye.
Ciao, auf Wiedersehen.